Hi there, Perfecto De Castro here and welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you're having a great day. Today's guitar solo cover is not exactly a guitar solo, but rather a guitar reimagining of John Lord's awesome organ solo on Deep Purple's Highway Star. This solo is just as how I recorded it on my band Rock Stallion's All Cover CD, which is available through the Rock Stallion Band website. I'll also put a link to the website in the description box below. Rock Stallion is a four-piece band, guitar, bass, drums, and vocals. And while we're not limited to guitar-based rock and roll all the time, the fun part for me is to come up with my own guitar parts to make the song work in our format. So it may entail condensing multiple guitar parts so that I can play it all in one guitar or figuring out a way to fill out the space either with effects or a loop pedal. And for the keyboard based songs, it entails reimagining the keyboard parts so that they work on guitar as well. The latter is what I did with the Highway Star keyboard solo. So instead of working out a note for note transcription of John Lord's organ solo on guitar, what I did was I approached that section with John Lord's ideas as my guide and came up with a solo that's guitar-centered and fun to play. And not necessarily hard, but it's, it looks impressive. <laughs> For the next few minutes, I'm gonna walk you through what I did in this solo. And then towards the end of this video, I'm going to play rhythm for you so you can have fun with it as well. Today I'm using my Chapman Norseman loaded with DiMaggio Gravity Storm pickups and strung with my signature Kurt Mangan set. I am plugged into my Victory V30 head, which is boosted by a Baroni Lab rat and box. <laughs> nice thick tones. Okay, here we go. I start by dumping the Floyd Rose and hitting that open fourth string. <laughs> okay, this simulates something fast racing down a track or a, a, a long stretch of highway. If you find yourself not having enough sustain, you can tickle the fourth string a little bit while keeping the rate of return on the whammy bar, kind of like this. That goes on for like eight bars and then we go into slower after that we go into this fun tapped arpeggio section the underlying chords are a minor to e over g sharp to g to d over f sharp each chord is one measure long. Now we're gonna follow that chord progression with the respective arpeggios all found on the second string. It's deceptively complex sounding, but it's actually very easy, <laughs> which makes it a great guitar part. The next chord is an F. We'll stay on this chord for two measures. Now we need an F major arpeggio. It changes slightly on the fourth beat of the second measure of F because we are transitioning to a higher arpeggio. This is going to be a hammer on from nowhere. So from F, two measures, we go into D minor, which is also two measures. And that arpeggio will be found on the 
first string. Here's that whole tapped arpeggio sequence again under tempo. A minor, E, G, D, repeat. F. D minor. The next section uses some Middle Eastern sounding lines. The next section is a little bit of a left hand workout because we will be descending the D harmonic minor scale sequenced in fours I'm using mostly the legato technique. For your theory geeks out there, since we are playing it over A, technically we are playing the fifth mode of the D harmonic minor scale, which is A Phrygian dominant. Time slower. Now for the next section, I switch to my bridge pickup and punctuate the accents with unison bands in the higher register. So after the series of unison band accents, we're going to go down and go through the D minor pentatonic scale. Now what I just played is actually the underlying rhythm guitar part. The lead guitar part goes like this. Just a little harmony in that little slow trill there. And then after which we're gonna go back down the D blues scale. Now one last thing before we head back into the verse. I do a little dive bomb on the A string. And that concludes the solo. I'm going to shamelessly ask for your kind support and generosity to help me keep making these videos and content for my YouTube channel. Here are several ways that you can do so. The first is by buying the tablature that I've laid out for this solo tutorial. It's available on my Etsy.com store and I've priced it low enough so that everybody's able to afford it. And since Etsy.com can handle international orders, it doesn't matter where you are in the world. You can just click on that Buy It Now link and as soon as you're paid, you will be given access to the PDF download. The link is in the description box below, so please do that. Now also in the description box is a link to my Amazon store. When you click on that link, it will take you to my personal Amazon webpage where I have listed all the stuff that I use that are also available in Amazon.com from the Groove Gear fret wraps to the Groove Gear bags to the Kurt Mangan strings to the DiMaggio pickups, even to my personal merchandise. So you can buy this t-shirt in that webpage as well. If you're interested in checking out the stuff I use and you shop on Amazon.com anyway, please buy them through my link. Every little bit helps. If you have any other suggestions on what else to include in my Amazon list, let me know through the comments box below or just send me a direct message and I'll get right on it. And of course, the easiest way to support this channel is to subscribe, hit the like button, interact with me by posting in the comments, and uh, check out my other videos and share them with your friends. Feel free to do so. Let's uh, get this rapport going. 
Now I'm going to leave you with the backing track to this solo. So grab your guitar, get your shred on, and have fun. I'll see you again soon. Bye. Oh.